name is Christy Call, Editorial Director of Cure Magazine. In this edition of the Speaking Out video series, on behalf of the National Pancreas Foundation, we're talking with Dr. Diane Simeone from NYU Langone Health about the signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Diane, welcome. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you so much. So, to start, why is it important for people to understand the signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer? So it's very important for uh, physicians and uh, patients to understand what can be the early signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a disease that can present with a variety of signs and symptoms. Some of the symptoms are unexplained weight loss, especially in an older patient, um, uh, uh, pain, which tends to be in the upper abdomen or what we call the epigastrium, in particular, if it radiates to the back, that's kind of a classic definition of pancreas-associated pain. People can also present with jaundice or yellowing of the eyes. And the reason people can develop jaundice with pancreatic cancer is the bile duct, which transports bile from the liver, goes right through the head of the pancreas. So if there's a tumor there, it can actually put a squeeze on the bile duct and obstruct it. Um, and so those are some of the um, common signs and symptoms. Uh, diabetes is also an important one to be aware of. New onset diabetes, especially if it's associated with weight loss instead of weight gain, gain can be a sign of uh, pancreatic cancer. Okay, and so I know you know, sometimes these symptoms can be considered vague, but is there any one in particular that should be a red flag for somebody um, and make them definitely visit their healthcare provider? So any symptoms that I just mentioned that persist, right? So a lot of people will get some vague upper abdominal pain and they'll see their doctor often will be ascribed to gastritis or an ulcer or reflux, and they might be put on some over-the-counter medicines. But if the symptoms don't go away, then it's really important to be persistent in making sure that something more serious isn't going on, like a pancreatic tumor. I always say patients should be their own best advocate. People know their body. If something doesn't seem right, then don't be hesitant to continue to ask a doctor to check out what's wrong. And if you're seeing a doctor that isn't really um, following through satisfactorily with uh, uh, trying to figure out what those symptoms are, then I would suggest getting a second opinion. Okay. So I think you kind of touched upon it, but if, if someone is experiencing one of these, what should they do next? So certainly uh, a good starting place is with your internist. So again, if you have unexplained weight loss, upper abdominal pain, a bout of unexplained pancreatitis, new onset diabetes associated with weight loss, jaundice, you know, please immediately check in with your internist. Um, a, a prompt referral should happen to a center that has expertise in the diagnosis and management of pancreas cancer. Um, the National Pancreas Foundation has done a very good job identifying what such centers are around the country and uh, in every state, there is a center that has expertise in the diagnosis of, of pancreatic cancer. Okay, and so similar to what should they do next, what should they not do? <laughs> well, you don't want to make a rush decision on a treatment plan. Um, it's, it's often not an emergency. So what you want to do is to get um, all the information you need to make a wise decision. So again, seek out uh, an expert in pancreatic cancer so that you can fully understand all the treatment options you have at your disposal um, and you don't wanna burn a bridge by embarking down a path that might not be the best treatment plan. Okay, and so how can we help to raise more awareness around these signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer? So, I think it's important just to continue to try to educate the uh, public um, to make um, uh, awareness about some of these signs and symptoms so that if a patient has them, that um, uh, a more serious problem like pancreatic cancer is considered. Um, I see lots of patients in the clinic that they had vague signs and symptoms that in hearing their story would have raised a red flag for me, but it took six months 
of return visits to the doctor until finally somebody ordered that scan that showed the mass in the pancreas. So I think it's about awareness, you know, not just to the physician community, but also to individuals out there. Um, pancreatic cancer in the past is thought to be a rare cancer, but it's actually not that rare. Um, close to 60,000 people uh, each year are afflicted with pancreatic cancer in the U.S. And um, uh, unfortunately, if we don't make advances with pancreatic cancer, it's going to become the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. So we're really working very hard to get the message out and increase awareness about pancreatic cancer, risk factors, and signs and symptoms. Well, that was perfect. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Okay, you're welcome.